A video of an industrial robot going berserk has emerged and gone viral. The video shows a robot hitting a worker at an undisclosed factory in China after what is claimed to be a coding error. In the unsettling clip, the bot is seen dangling from a construction crane on the factory floor near two men who appear to be testing the humanoid droid's abilities. And the two are speaking to each other when all of a sudden the robot begins flailing its arms and legs in a spectacle that some say evokes a failed prototype from the Robocop movies. At one point, the raging machine lurches forward while swinging and dragging the stand along with it as the men try and avoid getting hit. We have a copy of the footage to share, so let's roll it now. Wow, that was quite the incident. But this isn't the first time an incident like this has occurred. In 2021, a Tesla engineer was attacked by a robot during a brutal and bloody malfunction at the company's Giga Texas factory near Austin. The robot pinned the man, sinking its metal claws into the worker's back and arm, leaving a trail of blood along the factory surface. Let's just be glad that this wasn't involving the 20-foot giant construction robot. <laughs> But, Johannes, on a more serious note, how do we safeguard AI to prevent this from happening again? Well, Tiffany, to prevent rogue robots like the one that we saw in the viral video, we first need to recognize two broad categories, the traditional industrial robots and the collaborative robots or cobots. Industrial robots, especially humanoid prototypes, must operate inside fully fenced access controlled cells. Here, decades of ISO 10218 and NZRIA R15.06 protocols enforce hard guards, emergency stops, and lockout tagout procedures. By confining any humanoid industrial unit in a locked work cell, unexpected behaviors can't reach human operators. Cobots, by contrast, are designed to work side by side with people. They use real time force and torque sensing power and force limiting. So any contact above a safe threshold immediately stops motion. They employ speed and separation monitoring with vision or laser scanners, a safety rated monitor stops that halt operation the moment someone steps into a predefined zone. On the software side, rigorous validation in digital twins, layered fail safes, anomaly detection and human in loop overrides ensure that even an AI coding error triggers a safe shutdown rather than a berserk rampage. And let me reiterate, a humanoid, humanoid robot isn't automatically a cobalt. We've also seen other videos of humanoid robots in uh, manufacturing. Those need to be treated as industrial robots. Thanks, Johannes. I mean, I think that no matter what AI system it is, it still should have some safeguards on it to make sure that it's protecting humans and, and not attacking us. <laughs> Absolutely, definitely.